Hello everyone, it's PC Helper here and in this video I'll be showing you best control settings for the game Call of Duty Mobile if you are a thumb player. So if you have played any other game like PUBG then and if you are a thumb player you might face difficulty in scoping in. So usually people switch to claw control layout. But in this game they've got a feature which is really great for thumb players which allows you to scope in, scope in as soon as you click on the fire button. So first of all in control settings by default it is on simple mode you have to switch to advanced mode simple mode allows you to auto auto fire as soon as you see an enemy but it is a bit slow as compared to advanced mode so in advanced mode so the question arises what is one tap ads and what is hip fire so one tap ads is the feature that i was talking about which allows you to scope in as soon as you click on the right fire button so i will explain you with the help of control layout so as you can see the left fire button it is a simple bullet is printed on this button but there is a reflection of scope in the bullet and uh, behind the bullet in this right fire button so this is the one tap ADS so as soon as you fire with the help of your right thumb using this button it will automatically scope in so it is a great news for thumb players so you don't have to switch to claw if you select HIP mode then you have to click on this button to scope in and no automatic scope in will be done if you click on the even the right fire button so you have to scope in with the help of this button so i'll be talking about this in my next video which will be on the best control settings for claw players but in this video i'm talking about the thumb players only so what you have to do is customize it and here select ads for every gun but for shotgun and sniper rifles i prefer aiming it with the help of scope first and then firing so I am turning ADS off for these two, rest all the rifles I prefer ADS that is for th if you are a thumb user then it's great to have ADS in rest of all the rifles. Now let's go to the basic controls. In basic controls turn on in basic controls turn on aim assist. So what is aim assist? So aim assist is the feature so whenever you shoot off target so it will automatically move your aim towards the target. So it is a bit of a help and it's not a cheating but it's just a feature and it's really helpful. So turn it on. Now fast throw grenade. So I'm a kind of player who thinks a lot before throwing a grenade. So if you turn on fast grenade then as soon as you click on the grenade button the player will throw the grenade. But I take a lot of time in throwing the aiming the grenade. So first of all I click on the grenade take time to aim it. So I am just switching it off. Now quick run from prone, I have turned it on, joystick auto sprint, the feature which allows you to auto sprint with the help of the left movement button. So turn it on, fixed R fire button, turn it on. Now ADS, so I have selected tap to ADS, so as soon as you click on the button it will ADS that is it will scope in. Hybrid ADS, double tap ADS, so double tap ADS with the help of double tap ADS as soon as you double click on the fire button it will scope in but tap to ADS is best for thumb players now display left fire button on now slide while running so there are two options to slide either you can tap on the crouch button while sprinting to slide or you have to hold the crouch button while sprinting to slide I will recommend you to click on the tap crouch button because the moment you want to slide if you tap on the crouch button at that moment you will be able to slide at the same moment but if you are selecting this option you might not be able to slide at the moment you want to slide you will face a bit of delay in this so i'll recommend you to select this option now sensitivity so you all know what sensitivity is i keep sensitivity between 70 to 75 so 72 is the sensitivity that i'm using right now and it's really great you should try this and it's really comfortable to play in 72 now gyroscope so i will recommend you to turn it on only if you are used to playing with the help of gyroscope sensors but if you have never played with the help of gyroscope just keep it off i also don't use gyroscope keep it off if you are not a pro player or are not used to this gyroscope sensor now camera fov fov stands for field of view so fov works like this if you slide it towards the left it will work like zoom in and if you move it towards the right it will act as zoom out so field of view is the area that you are seeing at a time in the first person view so if you have turned it to the left then you will be it will be like zoom in so you will see less area but everything will be all the objects all the enemies will be of a bit large size but if you move it towards the right everything will be a bit small but it doesn't affect a lot but you will be able to cover a lot of area in a single view so i keep it at 66 to 70 so you can also change it to 68 
it's good and now weapon aim turn it off so these are the basic settings that i keep while playing now let's come to the custom layout so my control layout is same as default but i have made some small changes like i have enlarged this fire button i have enlarged this fire button i have enlarged this jump button also rest everything is same and if you want you can enlarge this crouch button a bit too but that's it rest everything is default in my next video i'll be talking about claw users if you use claw while playing other games and this game so i will show you best control settings for claw users that's it for this video if you have any question write in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe for more thank you and have a nice day